When you are ready, touch and begin the audio input. Okay, here we go. Killer! 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 Are we done with the name yet? I don't care what he... <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Southern Game. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into Nintendogs, a real-time pet simulation video game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo DS handheld video game console. Uh, this game, you basically own a dog. I mean, what else is there to say about it? Nintendo thought, hey, you know what people who play video games like? Companionship. So let's give them an animal. Um, and the perfect kind of animal, too, because you don't actually have to leave the house to tend to it. You just have to stare at a digitized screen. So, huzzah, all us gamers can finally have a companion. Um, this game, by the way, was originally released in, in three different forms. So there's three versions of the game you could buy. You could have Dash Hound and Friends, Lab and Friends, or Chihuahua and Friends. So depending on what kind of dog person you were, Nintendo had you covered. We're playing the Lab and Friends version here. Because I personally, uh, as a kid, I had a dog that was half German Shepherd, half German Shepherd, half Lab, um, and her name was Foxy. She was the best dog ever. I loved her a lot, um, and so I thought, oh, we got to go with the Lab version on this one. Um, so basically, it's a Nintendo DS game. So you use the touch screen here to uh, tap and touch your dog. Uh, apparently, it also uses the microphone feature, so you can call your dog, tell your dog to sit down, train your dog to do all sorts of different kinds of tricks if you want. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see what else there is. I mean, I've heard of Nintendogs, but I've never played the thing. This is sort of like, a, do you remember the like Tamagotchis? When we were like kids, guys, there were like little digital keychains, but there was like a little creature you had to keep alive in it. Uh, th these are kind of like advanced Tamagotchis. So anyway, we're at the kennel now. We're going to get to pick our puppy, go on in and try and find a puppy that's right for you. So would you like to buy a puppy or would you like to look at the kennel puppies? Let's let's just take a look. I don't know if I'm in the, I don't know if I'm in the market for a new pet right now. My life's kind of a mess. Let's just see what these little dogs are doing. Oh, they're so cute. Look, they ran right up to the screen. The one dog's licking the screen. All right, we got our choice of three dogs. Daisy, Maxwell, and Lucky. We're definitely going to rename these things. Uh, but let's take a look at Daisy right now. I think I, I quite like Daisy. She's pretty cute. She's the big one. Oh, look at her stretch. What a good pup. Then we have Lucy over here. Lucy is a little and playful, but then oh look at Maxwell. This guy is so full of spunk. He's a tiny little dog um, What happens if we click on this? Oh, we can like call Maxwell over here, buddy here, buddy. Oh my god <laughs> Hey, what's going on, buddy? Can we touch him? Oh, we can look we can oh we're pulling his tail Oh, I'm sorry. That's inappropriate. I don't know you well enough yet. Oh, I can like rub his face Look at that. Oh rub his little chin rub it. Let's rub his ears. Oh, yeah, get over here. Give me that ear, buddy. Flop those ears inside and out. Ooh, look. He earned a bone. Um, okay. Um, I think we are gonna go with Daisy, though, so let's call Daisy over. Let's see if she likes us. Daisy! Daisy! Get over here, girl! How you doing? Oh, what a good little girl. You know, the one thing they don't have going on here is that dogs usually like to smell your fingers before they let you touch them. So, like, holding your hand out to a dog, the dog, you know, like, smells your fingers and, like, licks your hand and stuff. That's, like, something dogs do. But we're just going right in for the pets. We rub her belly. Dogs like having their belly rubbed, too. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Also, they don't allow you to uh, rub your pet's heads harder or softer. Sometimes... Pets like a good old hard rubbing. It sounds it sounds like maybe you're hurting the animal, but no, like just imagine someone took your head and squeezed it real hard, but in like a massagey way, you would definitely like that. So I'm not talking about abusing dogs, guys. I'm talking about being nice to these things. Anyway, uh, all right, we've seen all we need to see. Yes, we're finished looking at the dogs. I think it is time to make uh, a commitment here. Let's go ahead and buy a dog of our own. Choose the breed. We're gonna go with a uh, Labrador Retriever. Oh, there's all sorts of different options though. A Shiba Inu, a Pembroke Welsh Corgi, a Miniature Schnauzer, a Toy Poodle, Miniature Pincher now. We're going full lab. 
Lab. Oh my god, we get, get to pick the color too. Oh, we're totally getting a black dog. So my dog Foxy, half German Shepherd, half Lab. She was a black dog. Uh, and I, she was the best dog ever. $535. Can we just come back to the kennel after hours and steal her? I can't imagine this place has, has serious security measures. This young male has very good disposition. He's patient and will likely bond with his trainer quickly. Well, I kind of wanted a female dog, but sure, whatever. Uh, is this a dog you'd like? Well, I kind of have no choice, do I? Chosen a puppy. What happens if you don't like the dog you've picked? Do, do you, like, is there a mini game where you take it back to the kennel? You know, and like, it's like a very sad, somber moment in the game, and it might be put down if no one else adopts it. And then you turn around and adopt a different dog instead. Like, how do you reset your dog's progress? It's not like deleting a save game in an RPG, right? Like, to delete this dog, we're deleting... We're deleting a dog. Nintendogs got you by the balls. Once you've selected a pup, you can't reset this save game. Your puppy has come home with you. Oh, look at him. He appears to be a little nervous, being such an unfamiliar place. Spend some time with your pup and help him feel comfortable. Touch the whistle icon in the middle of the screen to interact with him. All right. So, hey, buddy. What's going on, bud? Get over here. He seems to have noticed you. Uh, when your puppy gets close, call him close and pet him gently. All right, get over here, pup. Come here. Come here, puppy. Oh, look at that. What a good puppy. Puppies just like love and affection, man. Love and affection. We're not going to grab his tail like we did with the, uh, the other dog. Oh, look, you can make him jump and stuff. Actually, we will grab his tail. All right. <laughs> Give me your tail, buddy. The only thing we seem to be able to interact with uh, in this game. All right. He's rubbing your face. What a good doggy. What a good doggy. Oh, he likes that. All right. Nintendo has figured out how to program a simulation of love. What does that mean for the company going forward? All right. So now I think. So, uh, so apparently this game operates in real time. I guess we'll save our dog. Yeah, we'll save our efforts up to this point. Why not? Um, I don't know how much we're going to get to play today because apparently this all goes in real time. So I don't know if you can like speed run Dogs. Again, it might be like those Tamagotchis that I remember as a kid where the Tamagotchis literally... So if you don't know what a Tamagotchi is, it's like this keychain. And uh, on the keychain, it was sort of like a digital watch display. It was not nearly as detailed as all this. But on the keychain was just like a little alien th creature called a Tamagotchi. And you had to feed it and pet it and stuff. And if you neglected it over time, it would die. And that's, that's basically it. So it was, it, was, <laughs> it was responsibility in a keychain is what it was. At least this is responsibility. But at least it also gives you the simulation of like having a puppy so there's like the companionship angle to it but if you just wanted pure raw uncut responsibility get yourself a tamagotchi and have fun with it um so i don't know what else we're i honestly don't know what else we're supposed to do with the dog do we just go get another dog for board do we just go get another dog um hey uh we haven't even named our dog how do we name our dog how do we do this oh uh, hold on I'm going to try using the actual buttons on the controller here. Um, oh, you can make your dog roll over or something. Or he's just rolling over for fun. So the D-pad controls the camera. Other than that, the buttons seem to do absolutely nothing. Okay. I know you can teach your dog tricks and stuff like, like, hey, puppy, sit up. Or no, he's already sitting. Roll over. Don't lick yourself. Roll over. Beg. How do we feed our dog? Is there a way to feed our dog? See if we can figure this out. It's, uh... It's what, like 4 o'clock? What, what time do you need to eat, pup? Do you, like, do you get hungry at all or something? I don't know. Alright, well, Dad's running out of stuff to do with you. So, uh, I guess let me run through some Nintendogs trivia while we try and figure this out. Even Start does nothing. Oh, wait, wait, people who own this game, what did you do? Did you just open it periodically and look at a dog, pet it, and then, like, move on with your day? I mean, I, I assume something will happen eventually. I don't even know how to get more dogs at this point. Like, are we just... Is that is that just it? Are we... Is this the whole game? This is, uh... 
There's oddly nothing to do. I've never, I of all the thousand and one games that we've been working through for this this quest, we haven't done all thousand one yet, but we've worked through like what, like six hundred at this point. I've never had a game where like we just literally had nothing to do and just had to sit here. But uh, you know, I took some notes on like trivia and stuff. I guess we can talk about that for a bit. But um, this game, fun fact, was first publicly mentioned in 1997. Uh, the designer of Earthbound and Pokemon teamed up with Shigeru Miyamoto, and they actually had a game for the Nintendo 64 where you have a pet creature and you have to breed them, and the game was called Cabbage. Sounds utterly bizarre in Japanese, but I'm sure it was actually quite fun and, and innovative. Um, it had There was four years of development behind it. It was actually designed for the 64DD, which is the Nintendo 64's disk drive peripheral, it was only ever released in Japan, and only a couple of games ever came out for it. Um, the game was supposed to come out in 98, then 2000. Uh, it kept being put on hold. Eventually, it showed up as a tech demo on uh, the GameCube, uh, and then it eventually moved to the Nintendo DS, and I guess by that time, it had moved from creature breeding to just dog ownership. I was going to say dog maintenance, but, like, what maintenance? <laughs> This dog doesn't even need me. He's just he's just walking around. I thought there'd be way more to do in this game. Um, okay, hold on. Let's reset. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens when we come back to the main menu here. Um, oh look, our dog is just waiting for us. Uh, do we ever get to go back to the kennel? Is it just like this is it now? <laughs> you you own this dog. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. What do we do? What do we do? We just... This is... Um... I... Okay. This is not what I expected at all. I thought we'd have some options of things to do. All we can do is pet... We can't even feed this thing. Does it survive on physical affection alone? Does it live on love? I don't... I don't get it. Roll over. Oh, we can pet his tummy. All right, we've made it to level two, the tummy. Oh, look, and sparkles came out of his tummy. All right, here. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's enjoying it. All right, well, this is this is literally the episode where I rub a puppy. There's, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Show me a boss level or something. The boss level is your mom comes home and realizes you've bought a dog and you didn't consult her. And you get in a lot of trouble. Oh, he is loving this. He is loving this. This is pure ecstasy. This is puppy ecstasy. Look at that tail go! That tail's flapping at 88 beats per minute. Um, oh, we've calmed our dog down. Surely you must have an idea of what to call this puppy. Okay, hold on. I'm stupid. I guess there is more to do. I, I didn't even realize I was on a level. I just... Okay, let's actually pay attention. See if we can make some progress here. Uh, say the, the puppy's name aloud. Um, okay, you ready? Lucky. Okay, That's here we all. go. When you are ready, touch and begin the audio input. Okay, here we go. Killer! Was that the name? He didn't understand you. Touch the audio input. Okay, here we go. Killer! Killer! Okay, he didn't understand. Oh my god. Killer! Killer! Oh. All right, whatever. <laughs> Pro tip. If you uh, want your dog to hear your name, make sure you have your microphone plugged into your computer. I don't know why it sounds super slow-mo, but uh, call your puppy's name. All right, here we go. You ready? Killer. Yeah, he heard me. It's uh, muffled and I sound like a creepo, but... Uh, killer. Yeah! Alright, now you've learned my name. He heard you! He heard you! Call your puppy's name again. Alright. Killer! Alright. The name is get the... It's getting progressively more and more creepy. Hey, can we be done now? Killer! Oh, I didn't hear that. Here we go. Killer! No, oh, he didn't hear that either. Killer! Good. All right. He heard you. You touch. Are we done with the name yet? I don't care what he. <laughs> what the hell's going on? 
All right, well, we've hit a brick wall with Nintendogs. Um, you know, I'm uh, obviously recording this on a PC so that uh, we can actually record this thing properly. Um, but the audio doesn't want to work. Um, and so there really is nothing more that I can do with this game. And we, we've purchased a dog. We've pet a dog. We've tried to name a dog. I honestly have named this goddamn thing like 30 times. And the game doesn't seem to want to go any further. So... Let's just go and take a look at what the future of Nintendogs would have held had this thing actually worked for me. So I guess after you name this thing, then you start to train it from what we see here. Uh, this is just a random long play I looked up. Uh, you get to train your puppy. I guess this, this fella here bought a chihuahua. Jumping ahead even further, you can name different commands, it seems. Um, so a command like sit, you can teach your dog. The Max learned to sit. Jumping ahead even further, you can spend time collecting points in order to buy things, like a frisbee that you can throw, and I guess your dog will pick up. I mean, at least it looks like there are actual games and stuff that exist in this game eventually. Uh, you can blow bubbles and stuff for your dog, so I guess there are ways to play with your dog, uh, that are... Unique, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, Nintendogs here, one of the, game in the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Um, you know, I mean, this is just me getting repetitive at this point, but uh, I think there's tons of other games that I would recommend before a game like this. So in terms of, like, this being a thousand and one, or I... I don't know. I mean, Nintendogs, like, don't get me wrong. It's definitely an influential game uh it was really big when it came out just like tamagotchis i think its star has kind of faded like nobody really talks about nintendogs anymore the same way nobody talks about um you know rock band or guitar hero or tamagotchis or pogs or slap bracelets or any of the other things you know from our youth like it definitely was sort of like when it came out a bit of a novelty i think and that's why people liked it um so from the historical perspective of like influential video games of our time Sure, I can kind of see Nintendogs. Um, in terms of a game that you're actually going to want to sit down and play, I mean, maybe there's some entertainment value here for you. Maybe you're the kind of person who would enjoy this. I, it's, it's much more of the sort of like, I mean, this is a sandbox game to the extreme. You know, like there definitely are sandbox games I quite enjoy, like Minecraft and stuff like that. But this is sort of like a sandbox game where it's like, really just sort of messing around. I don't know. Like, it's, it's an interesting concept, and Nintendo's always pushed the limits of what a video game even is, so I'm not surprised that this came from them. Um, but as I say, at the same time, I mean, I don't think I would be... Pl I don't think I would play this thing, but uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a game that you played back in the day? Is this a game that you would actually recommend? Are there things here that I'm not seeing? I mean, hell, I, I couldn't even get past the uh, naming the dog phase, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, but, you know, I mean, like, what else, like, like, I'm looking at what else there is to do in the video and in, in the game, and it's like, yeah, there's some stuff to do, but, uh, I don't think it would necessarily have blown me away. One fun thing you can do, by the way, is you can link up your Nintendo DS with a friend, and then you can, like, take your dogs for walks and stuff together jointly, uh, which is actually kind of hilarious, because I imagine, like, two friends being like, hey, you want to take your our dogs for walks? And be like, yeah! And then cut to them, like, both lounging on a couch with, like, a bag of Doritos between them, like, guts hanging out from their t-shirts, like, big old pot bellies, and they're just on their Nintendo DSs being like, oh, man, it's so nice to get outside once in a while, get into the park, you know, get some leisure activity with our dogs. Um, but, of course, the joke is that they're just sitting in their basement. Um, I don't know. I, uh, it's an interesting idea for a game, as I say, but, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on this. I, I'm much more interested at this point to hear what you guys think of this game. And, uh, as always, whatever you think of Nintendogs here, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining and watching me fail as usual, uh, is, I guess, the highlight of, uh, of the video. If you do agree, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And do turn in back, uh, tune back in soon as we continue on our journey, uh, to try all the games in the book. Thousand one video games you must play before you die. So until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves and peace. Ha <laughs> ha, you're a cute one. Do you like squeaky toys? <laughs> ah!